There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. I see you. Cindy Collins. Something good. Cindy Collins. There we go. Nick Menapace. Kirk Scott. Rich Gordon. Brian Bombeck. Tom Fitting. Thank you. Um, we don't have a need for any alternates there, so uh, now we'll just do the Pledge of Allegiance. Any additions to the agenda? Good. Is that? I think that's the one where I had noticed the the thing afterwards. Yeah. Yes, and we want to add the April twenty twenty four meeting. Okay. Okay. I'll note that when we go to the uh, portion where. Approve the, approve the minutes. Um, now is the time for public delegations. Public delegations are the time when members of the public are invited to speak to the commission about certain matters, issues or concerns related to approved subdivisions and in-house proposals or general topics of discussion are open to comment. Agenda items, referrals, applications subject to decision by the commission or public hearing or litigation may not be discussed. The members of the commission will not directly answer questions or make comment during delegations. Uh, any, anything, anybody on the floor? Nope. Okay, thanks. Next section is reports, um, communications. Uh, zoning representative, did anybody attend the zoning meeting since the last meeting? I don't believe they have had one. I don't think I've had any? No. Okay. Our next, the ex officio from the Board of Selectmen, Don McKenzie. Do you have anything to report? Good evening, Don McKenzie, uh, Board of Selectmen. Nothing really that I can discuss a whole lot. You know, obviously, no certain things are going on at the town, but one of the big things was the Fair Rent Commission. Thus, put together real quick two amazing hearings at uh, three, really, at the VFW, and then we had one here at the town hall hearing, which was marvelous. Uh, great story and great action by our, our first segment and the board in, in getting it set up as quickly as in a matter of two days. Right. So we can hopefully address that um, and make life a lot easier for those people that have been here for a long time. And uh, other than that, I um, can't think of anything else really that's, that's that hot on that moved that far up on the burner for us right now. So right. I know the, the agreement with the fire uh, the fire department. So I don't know if that's been ratified yet or not. I think we're right there with it. But, right. Um, everything else is police chief. Fair rent and the fire department. All right. Thank you. Yeah, excellent job of the uh, fair rent commission. Thank you. Uh, planning director uh, Gary Gashel, do you have any updates? Uh, I just note that uh, the agency has a large uh, application pending before them. That's why the public hearing at September third meeting is for one hundred eighty-five to two hundred thousand square foot right building. Thank you. Um, subcommittees, I don't think we have any anything to add. Uh, I don't have anything to add as a chairperson. The next section is the approval of the minutes. Uh, I guess we can discuss the April minutes. We have to make an amendment to the uh, minutes for that. For that. that portion. Any other discussion on that? Um, would someone like to make a, mo like a motion to approve the minutes as amended? Or? Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as amended. Thank you. Any other discussion? A second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Passed unanimously. Uh, next up is the approval of the minutes 
for the uh, July 9th meeting. Uh, any discussion? No? Uh, do, no. We have, um, uh, do we have a motion to uh, approve the, the minutes for July? Yeah. I'll make a motion to approve the July minutes. Okay. Any other discussion? Do we have a second? I'll second. Okay, thank you. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Any abstentions? Aye. Aye. Two abstentions. Okay. So it's four zero two for that. Thank you. Um, public hearings, we don't have any this month. Uh, subdivision or resubdivision applications, we don't have any this month. We, we don't have any zoning referrals or municipal referrals. So next section is old business. Um, the sub on, it's regarding the subdivision regulations under section four, application sub submission procedures. Uh, we have comments here from the, uh, Attorney Zamarka. Um, Gary, did you want to have any, any comments on that? Or? Sure. Um, so like, uh, Attorney Zamarka had uh, some comments about the email Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, you know, they make the point what constitutes a significant effect, and, and then we're putting in the term an activity which substantially diminishes. It's kind of the same type of, you know, open ended. Um, what constitutes substantially diminishes might be the same type of language that they objected to. You might want to just ask them on that. Right, right. I had the same question. I didn't know if there was something for, for F where it says for the potential to cause pollution of the land, air, surface, water, or groundwater. It just, I don't know if there's a, yeah, I'm not a lawyer on that one. It just, as it said, it seems a vague. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> but again, I think 
in teachings where we say if you list everything you run into the same problem of like well it's not up there on you know for us or teaching it's like well it doesn't say I can't you know throw my gum on the, gu the window or something because he doesn't have it as a list of a thing I can't do but yeah. I, I suppose a lawyer knows better than I do of which is the better way to approach it our zoning regs are what we call permissive it's not explicitly called out it's prohibited yeah. so kind of the same context that mm -hmm. we don't explicitly yeah. Can't, can't. yeah. I understand. Thank you. Did anybody else have any uh, comments uh, or anything that uh, they wanted to mention to Gary to um, refer to attorneys and law? Question on your four fourteen four there the EIA. So we are we moving before the East Lyme Planning Commission decides whether to approve such action. Who who looks at that now? Is that um, the environmental? So any business corporation that can who's initiating the actions would may significantly affect this where it is going to come and what does that mean to try to define that. The environment shall basically provide a detailed picture of the evaluation of its environmental impact, period. And it says all such impacts, uh, EIAs, shall be detailed statements setting forth the following. I think prior, that, that's the deletion there. So we don't have to say who's it's being submitted to? I don't think so, because it's inherent in the subdivision regulations that the application it, It's us. And then in section 4-2, we add that subsection K. It's going to be part of the assignment, which one of the reports that's required. OK. Does anybody need more time to review the material? I think so. So I guess here tonight we're not to, we're going to wait until you talk to attorney, Gary, to talk to attorney Zamarka before we make a decision whether, you know, if, he's, if he's okay with the changes, we can discuss whether to go to a public hearing.
was thinking maybe you know, you, all those reports, if we could say a detailed summary, an executive summary of those reports, uh, be required, maybe that would be sufficient to fulfill this need as applies to the social market. Smooth lined up, smooth lines the process a bit. Um, does anybody else have any comments? Or? Okay, so I guess we can. Okay, so you'll meet with the attorneys in America and then we can see where we are at the next meeting. Yeah. That, that's okay. Very good. Um, new business, we have none. So I don't see anything else on the agenda. So I, I'd accept a, anyone want to submit a motion to adjourn? I'll submit a motion to adjourn. Yes, Thank I you. <laughs> Second the motion. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Thank you.